We begin today with the NCAA tournament, which begins in earnest tomorrow with what we here call the first round. We have studiously avoided making picks, claiming we have no idea who can win this. But the time has come to put our chips in the middle of the table and declare, Wilbon, at the very least, tell us who has the best chance of winning. I have no idea. Tony, I filled out, finally, some brackets. You know, I filled out some brackets. And you know what? Each bracket, I don't just have a different Final Four. I have, like, a different Sweet 16. I mean, none of the teams repeat. I can go through and justify throwing anybody out. Like, in one of the Final Fours, and one of the ones I'm holding, I have uh, Arizona going to the Final Four. But in one I did, like, an hour ago, I had Arizona losing in the second round, or I guess the third round, in Illinois. So I don't know. I got the, the only team I had, like, go through to the final eight in all the brackets I filled out. I'm going to arrive at one. Is I, I have Gonzaga, but you know me. I famously hate chalk. I pick upsets. Back in the day, and I mean in the 80s and the 90s and the aughts, I haven't won one in 20 years. I used to win these things. I have won big-time NCAA brackets in my day tournaments yeah. by picking upsets, by not going chalk, by not picking number ones. But, Tony, I have no idea. I have Gonzaga. I have Baylor. But I also have Iowa. I like the fact that Iowa can hang 110 on you. I have no other reason. I have no reason. I'm sort of rooting for Arizona, but I can't root for Arizona and Illinois. I'm rooting for Loyola teams that mean something to me. I have no idea. So I have some things that I wrote down that I would like to see, that I want to see. I want to see Davidson beat Michigan State. I want to see Colgate beat Wisconsin. I want to see South Dakota State beat Providence. And I want to see Vermont, the team from my conference, America East. I want to see them beat Arkansas. I don't think any of these things will happen. You'll notice I've stayed away from the major conferences, 10, 11, and 12 seeds. I'm going to tell you something, Mike. I want them all to lose. I don't think that, that they should put really bad teams into play-in games anymore. I think they should put these teams from the major conferences in all the play-in games. I think if you've got teams you don't like and they're going to be 16, put them in the main draw. Give them the honor of losing in the main draw. And so that, that's the soapbox I'm on. If you ask me what team I think I want to see win, Mike, it's Tennessee. Because I've become enamored lately with the SEC becoming a basketball conference, finally using all that money they get from yeah, football I don't know to hire is. pretty good coaches and build good facilities. But I'm not sure they will. So if it comes down to it, ultimately for me, I think Gonzaga will win the tournament. Yeah. And if they don't win yeah. this one, Mike, I don't think they'll ever win. You're rooting against Izzo. You're rooting for Izzo, who's been a guest of this show, who has been supportive no, for of you and me 40 years rooting, running back when we were sports writers, true. and you're rooting against rooting Izzo. For, this is not acceptable. I'm rooting for a small academic school. Oh, That's what oh, I've done in those God. picks. It's so what I've done. You root against Magic. You, you always say, your Magic is the greatest player of all magic. time. You pick Jordan, Love I've magic. got Magic. You root against Magic and Izzo. Huh? Not to no. mention Draymond. You're, you're, you're extending ties in such a crazy way that you're doing <laughs> magic. That's 40 years ago. Stop it. <laughs> well, who's the face of Michigan State even now? Huh? Magic. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.